What she would do to me when we fought, when she would get mad at me, she would say, when mom and dad went to the hospital to get you, we couldn't wait for you to come home. And as soon as they brought you, we said, take her back. <laughs> and that's what she would say. And I just want to say, um, she went on, so she's going to be up there saying, I can't wait for Ruth to get here. And she better not say, take her back. But what I wanted to share with you was a poem, and it was funny, we kept looking for something she had written and we couldn't find anything, and um, I had one thing picked out, and Rachel texted me another, and then this morning I found one. And this poem is what Phyllis would say to you if she were here today, and it's written by an unknown author, so in my mind, this is from Phyllis to all of you. Safely home. I'm home in heaven, dear ones. Oh, so happy and so bright. There's a perfect joy and beauty in this everlasting light. All the pain and grief is over. Every less restless tossing past. I am now at peace forever. Safely home in heaven at last. Did you wonder how I so calmly tread the valley of the shade? Oh, but Jesus' arm was there to lean on. Could I have one doubt or dread? Then you must not grieve so sorely, for I love you dearly still. Try to look upon earth's shadows. Pray to him, our Father's will. There's work still waiting for you, so you must not idly stand. Do it now, while life remaineth. You shall rest in Jesus' name. When that work is all completed, he will gently call you home. Oh, the rapture of that meeting. Oh, the joy to see you come.